friends, and welcome to my crafty space, where I share my memory keeping projects and processes with all of you. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Crystal, and I am so excited that you are here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can see all of my future crafty videos and any of the products or the links that I mention, I will have in that description box below. So today I am like crazy excited because we are starting the second installment of the Story Kit Crush series. So if you are new to this series, basically what we do, I have a couple of friends, Tashi and Amanda and I, who started this series last month in February, where we decided to pull a kit out of our, a story kit out of our hordes, uh, specifically an Allie Edwards story kit, and to work the entire month on creating as many projects as possible in order to crush the kit, to use the entire kit up. So last month, we worked our way through the Give story kit, and this month, we are starting a new kit. Uh, it is the Watch story kit. So if you guys have the Watch story kit, come on and play along with us. Get this story kit used up just like we are. If you don't have the watch story kit, that is totally cool. You can still participate in this challenge. Just pull out an old kit from your archives and try to use the entire thing up during the month. And let's see what we can all get accomplished here, right? So today I am working on my first project with this watch story kit. I am going to go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and while you are sped up I will voice over and kind of explain what my idea is here uh, and walk you through the process of how this went from idea to creation mostly because I think this is going to take a little bit so um, I'll explain it in the voiceover in order to make the intro shorter. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started working on this project. So my idea for this project came from the pad of TVs that was included in the watch kit. So these TVs are on paper that is a little bit, like a little bit thicker than normal copy paper, uh, much thinner than the cardstock cards that come in, that uh, journaling cards are, are made in. So I wanted to take these TV pads and turn them into a mini album of sorts. Um, the only problem with them is that when you put the TVs back to back, they are not the same size. So what I did here is I added adhesive to the antennas of the TV, of the TVs, then I put the TVs together and then I'm able to trim off the edges, which you can see me doing right now. So what I want to do is put together It'll, at the end of it, it'll be 11 TVs, uh, one for a title and 10 to actually put pictures in. And uh, I want to document our favorite movies over the last 10 years. So from 2010 to 2019. And my thought was that I could take these TVs and make them into an accordion fold out that goes into my story album. So what I'm doing right now is creating the back piece. There needs to be a little bit of cardstock that comes off the side that I can hole punch in order to add this into my album. So I pulled out a piece of plain white cardstock and I'm just measuring roughly around the TV. And then I'm also, when I first put it on there, I measured the width of it, add, making sure to add in extra space for my hole punches. So I am going to trim that out and then adhere the TV to that piece of cardstock. I will put it all the way to the right bottom corner so that the um, left side has some hang off and that's what's going to, that's where I'm going to put my hole punches in um, for this album to go in the album. So for this mini album to go in my big album. So once I have this all adhered down, I'm going to trim around the TV right here and make sure to leave that edge still on there. So you can see now that there's that little piece hanging off the left-hand side of the TV. I couldn't quite get 
everything cut out with my larger scissors. So I did pull out my precision scissors. These are Cutter B um, precision scissors and I really love them. So I'm going to use those to cut around the antennas. And then once I have that done, um, then I'm going to start assembling the accordion album. So all of the TVs, oh, I guess I'll punch it first. So there we go. Punch it, then we'll assemble. All of the TVs are adhered through their antennas and that's it. So the rest of the big square is still there. So what I want to do is create little like folding tabs that I can put in between the TVs in order to make them fold out. I can't remember how wide or how tall that TV is right there, uh, but I made it just slightly smaller than the side of the TV and then two inches wide. Then I'm going to score all the pieces at one inch. And this is what this piece right here is what is going to create my fold outs for the TVs. So then I will add some adhesive to one side of it, I guess after I use my bone folder to press those seams down. Then, yeah, then I will add my adhesive. Um, and this first one that I do, I'm actually going to make a mistake. So if you repeat this, if you do something like this yourself, um, once you get it adhered and it goes in between those TVs, once you get it adhered to the next set of TVs, you basically just want to do all of the folding parts first. So here I'm going to add adhesive to stick the two TVs together, and then I remember that I need to put another folding piece on the other side. So I'm going to do that on this one right here, and then I'll finish adhering that TV all the way down. But on all of the rest of them, I'm just going to leave the TVs loose until the very end. So I'm going to add adhesive and then put my TVs on top of each other just to make sure they're all aligned, and then press the TVs onto the folding piece, and then move on to the next one. And I'm going to keep repeating this until I have all of the TVs in this little mini album. So when I first thought about making this accordion album, I had considered making all of the TVs on one side, but then I figured that that would get way too bulky <laughs> having, you know, my accordion be, it would be 11 TVs long. And that is just kind of crazy like it was just too long so instead I decided to do them back to back so when it folds out half of the TVs will be on one side and half of the TVs will be on the other which you will see when we get to the end um, but it just helped cut down on the bulk and allows it to actually go into my album I suppose if you were going to make this like a standalone mini album, you could probably put them all on one side. See, so there it is folded when it folds out. So if it was double that length, it would be a little crazy. <laughs> um, but you could do that as a standalone if you wanted to. It just, yeah, it would be a lot harder to put into a bigger album. So now that I have everything adhered uh, to those folding pieces, I am next going to make sure all the TVs are adhered together. So it's just opening them up, adding some adhesive, and then pressing everything down. And then that will give me my TV accordion. The next step is going to be adding the movies. So one night, my husband Aaron and I sat down, and our goal was to pick or my goal, was for us to pick one movie from each year that we really loved. And we found that that was really hard to do because we have a lot of favorite movies and a lot of favorite types of movies. So instead of picking just one, we decided instead to pick four from each year. So we have one action movie, one drama movie, one animated movie, and one movie that is superhero themed. Uh, we are really big into the superhero movies, specifically Marvel. Um, some DC is okay too, but we're definite Marvel fans. So it was hard to not pick the Marvel movie from every year, um, especially when there's also like Harry Potter movies coming out at that time and 
some of our other well-loved animated movies and then some drama. I don't know. There's just so many to pick from. So it worked better to do four. So one from each genre. So once I have those all adhered, the next thing I did is I went into my computer and I created a back, a, like a patterned paper using the red from the kit and then the digital watching stamp that I turned white and then I just repeated it all over that background. And then I took the totally love watching this card and made it bigger so that it would fit inside the inside of that TV. And what I really wanted to do was make it big enough that I could use that little play button acrylic piece as the O. So you'll notice that I printed one with the O and one without the O, and I just did that in case it didn't really fit in the empty space, then I would just leave it off and use just the totally loving, or totally love watching this. Um, but I was really happy that it did, in fact, work out the way I wanted it to. So I added some red line tape to it, and then I stuck it where the O would go. And I think that looks really cool. Then uh, here is the second mistake I made, is I added the tab to the TV at this point. What I should have done is added it at the very end um, because I'm going to end up stamping the years onto the sides of the TV in like the little blank spot. And because that tab is there, I was not able to stamp on the TV itself. I find a way to fix it, but it would have been nicer if I just would have waited to put that tab on. So next I'm adhering on that pattern paper onto the background, onto the back of the album. Um, I want this to look nice from all sides. So when it flips over in the album, now it is you know, covered and it just looks nice, especially since the first accordion tab was technically adhered to the back of the white plain white cardstock. And another bonus is that it makes it a little bit sturdier for holding all of those TVs in the album. Next, I pulled out my stamps. So this is a stamp set from Ellie's Studio, and it's like their standard alphabet stamp. So I took the numbers from that, and I am going to stamp the years into the blank space above like the, I guess, what would be <laughs> the... Um, TV buttons. And right here you can see me kind of struggle with what to do in that in that spot that I added the tab to. So what I decided to do was pull out another TV pad and to stamp it on there and then later I will adhere that section on top of the TV, which you'll see that when we get there. While I am getting this whole thing stamped, let me go ahead and tell you guys the movies that we picked for the last decade. So for 2010, we have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Megamind, The King's Speech, and Iron Man 2. For 2011, we have Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, Kung Fu Panda 2, Captain America, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. For 2012, we have The Hunger Games, Avengers, Wreck-It Ralph, and Life of Pi, for 2013, we have Olympus Has Fallen, Iron Man 3, Frozen, and Now You See Me. For 2014, we have The Theory of Everything, Guardians of the Galaxy, The Lego Movie, and Divergent. For 2015, we have Mockingjay, uh, Part 2, Ant-Man, The Good Dinosaur, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. 2016 is Arrival, Doctor Strange, Zootopia, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. 2017 is Beauty and the Beast, Spider-Man Homecoming, Coco, and Star Wars The Last Jedi. 2018 is Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Avengers Infinity War, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Black Panther, and 2019 is Aladdin, Avengers Endgame, Frozen 2, and Marvel. So that is a lot of good movies. That's what, 40 movies? And that's crazy. I still can't even believe 
that uh that it's been 10 years that those were within the last 10 years wow so I've got all of the dates on there all of the years stamped so the next thing I'm going to do is to add some of these chipboard pieces so I picked out five of them two are the circle shape and three are the square shape so what I decide to do is add the squares to one side and the circles to the other I add the circles to the side where when you pull it out the acrylic play button is on the same side so then there's the three circles and the three squares and then I just tried to put them sort of where they make made sense but also evenly spaced as best I could. So I'm going to add the on-demand to that 2017 um, TV and then I'm going to add this, it says check this out, to the 2019 TV. The only one that I really wanted to make sure to get on a specific TV was the square that says this episode and I wanted it to go next to a Star Wars movie since Star Wars movies are done in episodes so that just made sense to me. The rest of them I just put evenly spaced and that was pretty much it. <laughs> so that that was that was the deciding factor was space in between them. So I also um tore off a lot of the chipboard a lot of like the layers of the chipboard in order to cut down on the bulk so you'll see me do that as well and that is why I am adding score tape to the back of those pieces in order to stick them down I just wanted to reduce the bulk as much as possible now the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of that same pattern paper that I made to the front. I just felt like it was too white and I wanted a pop of color um, just to give a little bit more interest to the TV itself. So I tried to peel up the TV off of the white cardstock and it was not coming up. So I gave up on that and then I just added the paper right on top and trimmed it off. And then I went into my tiny words or my tiny phrase stickers to find two that would make sense to go into that tab and that is pretty much it for the album so it is basically complete. I will also point out that I did adhere that section of the 2015 stamped TV to this album so now all the pages look cohesive. All right you guys so we are finally done and it turned out really really cool pretty much exactly how I hoped it would turn out so um yeah so this will just go right into the story album I figured it could go right next to my YouTube because that makes sense to me and then when it opens let me move it this way so you can see so when it opens it'll go this way and then when you flip it it goes the other way which you can't see that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so it goes the other way, just like this. So, that is super cool. And then it turns, and there's the watching pattern paper that I made on in Photoshop. So, yes, totally cool. I used up 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 of the TVs from the TV pad. I still have another, I think, 13 more in here is what I counted. Um, I do not have any additional projects planned for this pad, so I will probably just keep it to the side and maybe use it in my project life or something like that to document a movie or a TV show or something that we're currently watching. So that might be a good way to use up the rest of these. Um, but I'm pretty happy that I was able to get 11 of them in here. I mean, that's awesome. All right, well, that is it for this first installment, first episode, first project, project. <laughs> That's it for this first project with the Watch Story Kit. I hope this gives you guys an idea of something really cool that you can do with the pad of TVs. Um, or just an idea to document the movies that you really loved seeing over the last 10 years. Because like, holy cow, I cannot believe that these movies 
came out 10 years ago. That does not seem that long ago. That's crazy. Um, and it'll be really fun to look back on and see what movies came out and what were we really loving at the time. All right. Well, um, make sure you guys go over and check out my friend Tashi's project for this month. I will put her, I'll put a link to her video down below. So you guys can just click on that and go see what she's made. Go check out the hashtag story kit crush because there are a lot of people joining in this month with the watch kit. So there's going to be a lot of inspiration coming your way on how to use up this kit. And if you liked this movie, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what were some of your favorite movies of the last decade. I would love to know that. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.